Yep, here are all my uh, figures. These are from uh, third party Crazy Toys and Empire Toys. So stay tuned, uh, I will be showing you each and every one of them. So sit back and enjoy. Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Articulator. Today uh, I have a special edition for you guys. Uh, for those of you who collect um, Empire Toys and Crazy Toys, here are some of the most outstanding uh, collection from Crazy Toys and Empire Toys. Uh, and these are in 1-6 scale. Uh, in terms of uh, articulation, this guy actually does not pose but it is a very hefty uh, statue uh, all in this uh, museum fixed pose as you can see uh, on my right hand side is the uh, Black Panther the Black Panther itself uh, is very very nicely sculpted uh, of course, this is nothing uh, in comparison with the uh, Hot Toys one But the uh, Hot Toys one, I'm very sure By now, uh, there are a lot of uh, defects uh, For those of you who know uh, about the uh, this uh, Black Panther suit uh, Over time, if you bend it too much uh, and push it uh, too much on this figure, you may uh, actually uh, damage it. But uh, with Crazy Toys and Empire Toys, uh, this type of uh, statue does really stand uh, the test of time. Over here, uh, I'm also very, very uh, impressed with this figure. This is uh, Thor from the uh, Infinity War. As you can see, this whole thing is a statue. The head sculpt is uh, very close. So this is how it looks. Very, very nice. Just look at the uh, detailing on the uh, body suit. Uh, all these are in uh, hard PVC plastic. Uh, he does comes with this uh, X. Next, uh, I have here the Infinity War uh, Captain America. Uh, this one actually looks very impressive. Look at that. He does uh, have this uh, dual wielding uh, shield on the left and the right hand side. The boots also is very nicely done, as you can see here. The scalp and uh, even the pants, you can also see the uh, pants uh, texturing. Very well uh, replicated. So these are three of the uh, figures. At the back here, uh, this hawk is uh, Recast from the artifacts, I believe, and uh, this one, if I'm not mistaken, is from Crazy Toys a very long time ago. One of the uh, earliest uh, figure. Uh, of course, I have uh, repainted uh, some of the uh, base diorama and uh, a bit of uh, touching up on the uh, body itself. Uh, this thing is very very heavy is uh, almost like um, solid uh, PVC so uh, even the arms here actually I have uh, some problem uh, displaying the arms as you can see uh, over time the arms may just dislodge by itself because of the uh, heaviness of the uh, right arm next uh, what I have here is the um, Armored Batman 
from Batman v Superman. This is a recast of the RFX. Also from uh, Crazy Toys. Of course, uh, this uh, Batman actually does not come with the uh, strap belt on the uh, chest. Uh, I have repainted uh, parts of the uh, mark piece there. Uh, overall, uh, this armored Batman is really looking very nice. Look at that. Very nice. Very, very bulky. Of course, the recent, recently uh, released uh, Mark V. Uh, this is a statue from uh, Empire Toys. A very nice uh, statue. Actually, I did not expect this uh, Iron Man uh, from uh, Empire Toys because uh, the sculpt and the paint application is very well done. As you can see, the uh, red metallic is also very nice. Even the uh, silver gun metal look is also uh, quite well done. Uh, especially the chest piece here, they actually did some uh, detailing. So you, if you're standing probably six feet away, you may not know that this is uh, Empire Toys uh, statue. So this is how it looks. Very impressive. Over here, this is the uh, Iron Man from the uh, Avengers uh, Infinity War one of the uh, popular Iron Man suit uh, which is called the uh, Nano uh, Iron Man uh, suit as you can see here uh, personally I actually do not like the uh, design because uh, it tends to look too organic a huge uh, departure from the um, original Iron Man uh, look uh, but nevertheless uh, he does stand very nicely with the others as you can see here of course uh, what I have here also is another Empire Toys believe it or not uh, this uh, Empire Toys statue is even more impressive the uh, paint scheme is very well done as you can see the back uh, iron, iron spider uh, claw actually they miss out some uh, blue colored uh, at the uh, claw of uh, this uh, iron spider but uh, nevertheless the paint scheme the look is almost uh, identical so for those of you guys who are very very about uh, this uh, I mean suit uh, tearing apart uh, after a while then uh, this may be your uh, better option to actually have Empire Toys uh, as one of your display uh, figure the Mark 6 over here is also from Empire Toys. Uh, the coloring is also very well done. Uh, except for the uh, chest piece, uh, the arc reactor actually, they actually skip the uh, normal transparent arc reactor like the ones on, on this uh, Infinity War nano suit. Iron Man and also the Mark V. So this Mark VI, uh, generally the uh, look is still there, except for the uh, triangle inverted triangle uh, art reactor. That one is a little bit um, plain because they just paint it uh, in white color. So these are some of the uh, figures. And the uh, next figure which I want to show is uh, 
Man of Steel from Crazy Toys, uh, one of the earliest uh, Crazy Toys uh, which I have uh, acquired. Of course, uh, Superman himself, I don't think uh, you will be posing him uh, very much because uh, for a Hot Toys figure, you may have issue with the uh, Superman uh, this uh, suit so you may have uh, tearing and uh, issues with this with the uh, superman suit if you are owning the uh, hot toys one uh, if you are posing him in uh, this uh, type of uh, museum pose then maybe your, your your figure may last a little bit longer uh, but over here is uh, just a statue uh, he is in a fixed pose as you can see the cape actually is uh, this one is uh, plastic as you can see here but uh, this pose in the um, head sculpt especially is very well done uh, it's, it's actually surprising that uh, this uh, superman the head sculpt looks very close to the uh, Henry Cavill uh, look so uh, I do like this figure I've, uh, I've been keeping it uh, for a very long time now uh, one of the uh, earliest uh, crazy toys uh, statue figures over here I have the Deadpool uh, of course, th this one actually is based on the, uh, I believe, the Sideshow Collectibles 16Q. And uh, this is actually a Crazy Toys, uh, what do you call, statue. As you can see, the uh, detailing is also not bad. All the uh, boots, straps, everything is still intact. Uh, nevertheless, uh, if you are standing uh, uh, probably four or five feet away, it still does look very impressive. Look at that. So uh, the only the only thing that I have uh, swapped out is actually the uh, swords. I actually swapped out with this uh, rifle, machine gun. So. So that uh, that pool here still looks very very nice. Look at that, absolutely stunning. Last uh, but not least is this uh, recast of uh, Art FX uh, Deadpool statue, which actually I still believe uh, this is one of the uh, most impressive looking Deadpool uh, which I have in my collection so uh, for those of you guys who like this uh, statue in this uh, type of uh, dynamic uh, pose maybe you may want to check the artifacts the original statue uh, but if you're lucky perhaps you, you can still get this uh, uh, crazy toys uh, Deadpool if I'm not mistaken uh, it does come with this uh, sword and a very nice uh, diorama, uh, some kind of uh, railing uh, platform. So, they have it. Uh, these are all my figures. Uh, Deadpool is one of my last one. Alright, so... There you have it, uh, these are all my uh, figures, uh, I hope you guys enjoy my video, uh, until then, I click it, signing off, remember to share, subscribe, and spread the love, see you guys next time.